NC Tech's brand new Iris 360. Fascinating, isn't it? Hi there, everyone. Forrest Mann here with Man Made Productions. Last week, we unboxed the Iris 360, revealing the package contents and the camera itself. Briefly, we discussed the camera's limitations and its capabilities. Basically, we covered all the general information that you would want to know if you're considering purchasing this camera. Today's video, we're going into the quick start guide. We'll go step by step through each procedure in the instruction guide to give us a clear understanding on how to properly set up and use the camera. By the end of this video, you should be comfortable with this routine. Let's get started. Step one. Step one indicates us to insert the battery and the SD card. First, fold down this flap to access the battery compartment. Insert the battery so that the pull tab remains on top facing out. If done correctly, the flap will fold back up and lock into place with ease. Next is the micro SD card. It can be a little more tricky to get to. Located directly above the battery compartment lies the SD slot. It's covered by a protective rubber gasket which keeps the micro SD card in, while keeping dust and other micro particles, possibly even moisture, out of the camera. To properly insert the micro SD, make sure the brand name or the writing on the card is facing upwards. Moving on, step two. Step two is the most important part, and of course, it's the most boring part of the entire setup. Charge the device for three hours after inserting the battery pack. Finally, now that that's done, we can move on to step three. Remove this little rubber gasket at the bottom of the camera to find your on and off switch. Provided the camera's been charging a minimum of three hours, you can unplug it and flick that switch on. Now that the battery's turned on, put the rubber gasket back in place and turn your attention to the top of the device. Here we'll find the camera's power button. Hold your finger over the button momentarily and wait to be greeted by the glowing white NC Tech logo. Moving on, step four. Okay, great. Power's on, card's in. Time to connect this device via Wi-Fi. Using any tablet or any smartphone, open up the Wi-Fi settings. A new network should appear, allowing us to connect to the Iris 360 network. On the quick start guide, the Wi-Fi address and the password necessary to connect will be clearly displayed in step four. Once the correct password's in, we'll establish a clear connection to the camera. Now it's time for step five. Time to open up a browser of your choice. Chrome, Safari, Firefox, whatever. Once this is done, enter the address provided in step five. Punch that address in and hit enter. There we go. We are now remotely connected to the camera. This is so exciting. At this point, we have complete control over the camera and we are now ready to start taking pictures. Finally, step six. Lastly, the quick start guide encourages anybody with questions or concerns to contact the support team at NC Tech. I'll leave a link to the support team in the video description. If you feel we missed anything today or there's something you would like covered more in depth in a future video, let me know in the comments section below and I'll do my best to accommodate. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope this video helped. If so, drop a like, drop a sub, and stay tuned for much more in the future. Until next time, this has been Forest Man with Man Made Productions. Take care, everyone.